Now I'm joined here by Longford Town Assistant Manager Johnny Martin. Johnny, you happy with that performance tonight? Yeah, oh yeah, I am. Yeah, on the back of last week, like we, overall we've been happy with performances most weeks. Uh, last week we were disappointed. Um, so on the back of last week, I thought they rectified that in terms of their intensity and their desire. Some of the basics, um, but we also attacked a lot. We moved the ball really well. So yeah, I think I think it was a very good open game, and, and we gave as good as they gave. And um, you probably couldn't tell who the full-time team was, so yeah, it's, it's a lot to take in mind. I think towards the end, you probably heard some of the Longford Town supporters. You know, we, we felt there was something there for us, maybe in the last 10 minutes. We had Dundalk a bit ropey at the back at times. Do you feel that we could have nicked one? Yeah, I, no, it, absolutely. And, and, and like, look, that's been the plan a lot of the weeks, you know, because it, it, it's, it's not that teams look down on us, but I think when teams are playing against us, they have an expectation that they'll roll us over and beat us. And, You've seen only a small bit of it in the Rovers game uh, and nil all in, in Longford where they, they actually took a few chances at nil all and we nearly scored late on and it's similar here and I suppose we've wanted to stay in more games to allow us that opportunity to maybe catch teams late on and it hasn't quite panned out that way as often as we'd like but you know that really is the key. Teams still do look down on us, teams still do disrespect us, teams do still think we're a little old Longford and uh, we're not. So um, it's unfortunate the Dobbs have to look back at them whether it was a clearance off the line or a save with the keeper. And Grimesy off the line as well and, and luckily he saves the penalty. So look, it was uh, very open and good chances towards the end. An absolute cracker of a goal from us in the first half. A brilliant ball from Paddy Kirk switching a play over to Aaron McNally and an absolutely brilliant first time touch goal from him there. Yeah, I thought, look, I, I kind of, we not put a bit of pressure on Aaron before the game, but we, we kind of said, look, we, we expected a bit more. He'd been, out, he'd been out of the team injured and he's come back in the last couple of weeks. And we both sort of felt, look, it was a case now that, look, you're back a couple of weeks, so let's, let's see the Aaron we know is there. And um, playing in a more forward position, I thought it was a brilliant goal. And I'm looking forward to watching it back. It's a great pass from Paddy. And look, it's, it's satisfying for us. We, we, we played him there because we want them to give us that little bit of depth and that little bit of width. And, and the goal is a product of that, so that's, that's, that's pleasing from, from Dara's perspective and my perspective and, and all the lads. Yeah. Lastly, now we're at home to Waterford again on Monday. Um, quick turnaround in between games once again in the Premier Division, but how do you feel going into that match now? Well, look, we have to take a lot of confidence going into that game. I'll probably go back to my earlier point. We take confidence going into every game. We're a confident bunch, um, especially myself, but no, but all the players, you know, we are confident and people from the outside looking in may not believe that and may not understand that but you need to just come to our training session for one day or come into our dressing room for one day and you'll see what's there you'll see an extraordinary group of fellas like an incredible bunch we are full-time part-time we are doing our lads are working 60 70 hours weeks between their day job and the football so we are massively confident going into 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 every game but Waterford, I think Waterford have been excellent lately. I think the manager's made a real difference. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting him. He seems like a very bright guy. He seems like a very bubbly guy. I've, I've listened to a couple of podcasts he's been on and he's a very, very uh, interesting guy and he's got a good bounce out of them and you know he really knows the stuff. He's been at the highest level in the UK. So um, Monday a, is a massive challenge. You see tonight they were beaten, but you know again, they were very competitive. They were, they were up early. They won here two weeks ago. Um, so look, we know that's a, it's a massive game. Uh, it's a massive challenge, but I think ourselves and Waterford, we're not looking at each other, we're probably looking at the next one on, uh, whoever that might be that we can, we can bring back into it. So that's, that's our plan, I'm sure that's their plan as well.